Hello, thanks for joining me. Okay, so today I'm very excited because I got one of these. Everybody know what this is. Miss Pat McGrath's $72 highlighter. Okay, skin fetish in nude. And I was really curious about how nude would look on my skin. My previous video, I did my version of what I thought um, golden would look like if I were to do it myself. So it was like a do-it-yourself kind of trial. And then I got me the nude and in the process I was wondering what kind of makeup could go good with the nude. So it's already open because I've tried it, I've worn it for hours and it looked pretty. I got compliments and everything. So altogether I'm happy. No returns here. I'm keeping it. Okay, so we have the duo balm and the highlighter and the brush i'm not going to be using the brush today so let me just clean the little bag of sequins everybody should be familiar with that by now but anyway the makeup that i used today to go with it because it's absolutely dreamy was something that i recently discovered it's by makeup revolution their palette is unicorns unite and that's what's on my eyes right now and the colors are gorgeous okay pretty and also i'm just really blown away by it it's ten dollars cannot go wrong so talk about affordable and for my lips i also wanted to keep it dreamy so by Too Faced i use their metallic lipstick in the color dream house so this is like a metallic pink it's so gorgeous so i'm gonna jump right into it these um a little bit about the i'm all over the place today but a little bit about these eyeshadows you have like the mattes in the circles and the squares are like satin finish and like i said they, they're pigmented they blend well and i don't think they're vegan or anything like that but you know if that's not a problem for you just go for it i just love it the packaging is beautiful you know and there's a mirror all right so i did everything but apply this highlighter because I just wanted to show the effect on camera if possible. So I'm just going to go right into that swatch and start off with the balm. I'll be looking away. Okay, so like I mentioned before, it's two sides to this beautiful highlighter. There is a sticky balm on one side. This is clear. And then there's the actual highlighter itself. The actual highlighter itself for me in a nude it's kind of like a light golden nudish color so yeah pretty so I'm just, just gonna um, swatch the balm and apply it to my cheek you come in I've already had some um, look how beautiful and shiny that is I've already applied blush so it looks really for this color in particular you're gonna see why blush is necessary for me blush because it's so pinky it just looks like addition to your blush but it's high it's a highlighter and it's gorgeous so there you see that shine and they said with the balm you can wear it alone all right put a little bit on my nose as well so have that dewy look right there okay oops look, I got a little carried away with my nails <laughs> all right so look at that so you could just go up for that dewy look but I'm just gonna go all out and apply the highlighter part of the the dual stick for this skin fetish all right and just like this i mean that's kind of normal for highlighter that color you get the highlighter you get the gold so you could stop there because that's a bit normal <laughs> and like i mentioned i wasn't going to use their um i'm keeping the the brush as a souvenir so i'm not going to use the brush but i do have my brush you know so you could kind of blend it in a little bit just because there's a it gives like a harsh kind of edge too because it's sticky so I'm just blending that in a little bit 
okay if you hear any weird noises in the background i have cats so they're feeling talkative today but yeah this is gorgeous and i'm so happy that i didn't opt for the the gold because there's so much options that you can get with the highlighting stick itself and also my dupe for the golden so then we have this iridescent pigment and once again this is nude i don't know if you if you could pick up the color but it is an opal iridescent and it shines beautifully in pink and i'm gonna apply i'm just gonna pick up some there's some fallout i'm gonna use the brush and apply it right there oh my gosh rose gold pretty okay I had a feeling it was gonna be really interesting. So, I, like I said, I wore it out one day and I got a compliment right away. Oh, I love your makeup. Mm-hmm. So do I. So, yep. So, it's very gorgeous. I thought nude would not work. Yeah, I thought that nude wouldn't work on my complexion, but it's absolutely gorgeous gorgeous especially on top of a beautiful complimentary blush like this one and this is actually Dahlia by Becca um, I'm just feeling these um blushes by Becca lately they're so beautiful but yeah it doesn't look crazy I actually thought that it would look crazy because of the color but I'm impressed so now I'm just gonna try something a little bit more with the pigment itself you know I've seen some people put it on their lips, but just because I'm wearing a metallic, um, you know, lipstick already, I'm just going to try to put it on my eyelid. And this is what the swatch, I don't know, it's so pretty. You can see that. It does, it does shine purpley pink, but at some point when it blends with the highlighter itself, it looks like a rose gold and I love that. So I have some of the pigment. I'm just going to put it in the middle of my lid just to see if I could get any effect. Oh, okay. That's pretty. Do the same thing on the other side. So, yeah, this is like my quick review and my take on Pat McGrath's um, Skin Fetish 003 in the color nude i love it and it's definitely doable it, it looks good on brown skin um not necessarily a nude i don't think this could be nude on anybody but it's definitely worth the price i was asking people i was like hmm, let me i wore it today to find out if it's worth 72 dollars i mean you get three pieces in there um you could work the balm with other pigments and, and i'm gonna try it out you know so I love it. And then, yeah, it paired it with this beautiful makeup from Makeup Revolution. Once again, I want to mention this beautiful palette in um, Unicorns Unite. And everything just kind of went together well. So, yeah, so that's it for today with Pat McGrath's um, 003 Skin Fetish in Nude. Gorgeous. Definitely worth the price. I love it. And I'm happy that I got one. And I'm happy I could also dupe the golden one. So I'm really satisfied with this. It's just a little bit goes a long way and I anticipate that it's going to last a long while too. So very good um, bargain. Good for what you get. You know, you, you're getting a lot of um, pigment and balm and stuff like that. So yeah, I just hope that if you went out and got yourself one, I hope that you're enjoying it as much as I do. And I really appreciate you for watching today. Thank you. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.